And that breaking news is in Sacramento. Firefighters tackling a grass fire along the American River Parkway. We've been following this for more than an hour. The flames were sending a huge plume of smoke into the air. The firefighters attacked these flames from the ground and the air. And there you can see the helicopter making a very precise water drop on that fire as it was burning along the American River Parkway. And Livecopter 3 was also over the fire as crews were battling the flames. You can see traffic just slowed to a crawl on Business 80 and smoke could be seen for miles. I can tell you that also affected a lot of the surface streets leading mm -hmm. up to Business 80. And Livecopter 3 showing us the scene right now looks so much better. We can just see some smoldering spots, but basically firefighters were able to get a handle on this one. So from the ground, from now to the ground, I should say, Brittany Hope joins us live. So Brittany, what have you been able to see there as they've been able to put that out? Right, and Edie, what you just said about it looking so much better right now than it even did 15, 10 minutes ago is so accurate. You can see here this area, I mean, 20 minutes ago was really engulfed in flames. All that's left at this point is a little bit of smoldering and branches there as well. But you can see crews are not done yet. If you look this way, we have the latest numbers for you. At least 80 firefighters are here battling this. It's officially a two alarm fire, which means there's just a lot of resources out here. Uh, we did talk to Sacramento Fire and they told us they were just out here a few hours ago for a fire that started this morning. It's just north of here, so we still regarded that mile marker four, but it was actually uh, near the transmission lines directly behind me. And that fire was only about an acre in size, but we didn't have the wind that we're having this afternoon. So the wind always create, creates more of an issue because as that fire burns and that fuel is there, it's going to push it into that fuel and it can take off on you. And the firefighters and mostly the command staff, they did a really good job of getting additional resources. Mutual aid is imperative. You hear it and see this fire uh, chopper from Metro Fire, our neighbor agency. Thank you to them as they're here helping to uh, contain the fire from the air. And of course, you're looking at a crew right now as well, speaking about that mutual aid system from West Sacramento that are doing some brush up here in this area that again, just a few minutes ago was covered in flames. Uh, the big question we have is, how exactly was this fire caused? A SAC fire tells us they're not sure it's under investigation, but they say nine times out of 10, these are caused by humans. Uh, just a few feet away from the burn area, I do wanna show you, there's just a lot of trash here and a lot of clearly human debris as well. So that is something that investigation team will be looking at while they're here, seeing if this was human caused. Edie? All right, Brittany, thank you. And let's go back out to those live pictures now from Live Copper 3. And again, you can see kind of what Brittany was talking about. Uh, the area just looking so much better than it did earlier. That's Business 80 there running right along the, the fire area. And uh, Edie, we, can, we know from earlier when Mark and I were watching this in 3 o'clock hour, that was casting really thick smoke across the freeway and affecting the ability of the drivers, the visibility for drivers as they were trying to, you know, basically have forced to pass right through that and slow down considerably but uh, traffic moving much better than it was earlier. As you can see here, uh, very, very light smoke out there at this, at this time.